and that this object is in a direct line to come to Earth in 2027. Her, this, this guy Avi Loeb, he's a professor at Harvard that believes it might be an alien probe. An object the size of a small city, traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour, is heading straight through our solar system. Some scientists say it might not be natural. In July 2025, astronomers spotted something extraordinary racing toward our inner solar system. They designated it 3i slash ATLAS marking it as only the third interstellar visitor ever recorded. But unlike its predecessors, this one has sparked intense debate among astronomers. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb shocked the scientific community when he published a paper suggesting something unprecedented. This may not be a comet, it might be something sent here. What makes this object so unusual isn't just its massive size or blistering speed. It's following a trajectory that seems almost calculated a path that conveniently takes it past multiple planets in our solar system. But what if this isn't just a flyby? What if it's a delivery? Why this object breaks the rules? Let's examine what makes 3 i slash a t l a s so extraordinary. First, its sheer size dwarfs anything we've seen from interstellar space before. At seven miles across, it's not just bigger than our previous interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov. It's dozens of times larger than both combined. To put this in perspective, it's roughly as wide as Mount Everest is tall. Then there's its staggering velocity, barreling through space at over 130,000 miles per hour. That's about 60 kilometers per second. Atlas moves far faster than typical comets from our own solar system. As Professor Loeb noted, it's difficult to imagine a natural process that would favor a plunge towards the inner solar system at 60 kilometers per second. Most peculiar is its approach angle. Unlike objects that typically travel along the flat plane of our solar system, Atlas is coming in side on, from an angle perpendicular to the disk where our planets orbit. This unusual entry path gives it a hidden approach from our perspective. This unorthodox trajectory is what prompted Loeb's controversial speculation. In his paper, he suggests this could be a deliberate path, one potentially designed to accomplish a specific mission the object's course will take it past Jupiter, then around the Sun, and finally past Mars and Venus, essentially touring our inner solar system in one elegant sweep. So, here's the strange part. If you were an advanced intelligence and wanted to scan our entire inner solar system without being noticed, this is exactly the path you'd take. That's what caught Loeb's attention. And honestly, it caught mine too. But what happens when it disappears behind the Sun? and reappears weeks later. What truly sets Atlas apart is the timing of its closest approach to the sun, its perihelion. Set to occur on October 30th, 2025, this critical moment will happen when Earth is positioned on the exact opposite side of the sun. The massive object will effectively go dark, completely hidden from our view at precisely its most active moment. This isn't lost on Professor Loeb. In his controversial paper, he suggests this could be intentional, a deliberate strategy to avoid detailed observation from Earth's telescopes. The object will effectively disappear behind the sun's glare for several weeks during the most crucial part of its journey. Even more intriguing is what Loeb calls the flyby drop theory. He speculates that if this were an artificial craft, this strategic positioning would create the perfect opportunity to deploy technology, probes, or monitoring devices near Jupiter, Mars, and Venus, all while Earth-based observers are completely blind to any activity. I mean, think about that for a second. You swing through a system, pass a few planets, and no one can see what you're doing because the sun's in the way. Coincidence or clever planning. When Atlas finally emerges from behind the sun in early December of 2025, it will have already completed its closest approach and any potential missions near the inner planets. By the time we can observe it again, any evidence of unusual activity would be long finished. Computer simulations of the orbit reveal that the object will fly past Jupiter on its way in. Then after rounding the sun, it will cross near the orbits of Mars and Venus on its way out. This multi-planet tour, combined with its strategic disappearance, has raised eyebrows among scientists studying its trajectory. If you're as fascinated by this mystery as we are, 
hit that like button and consider subscribing. We cover these stories before they hit the mainstream. A possible alien blueprint? This is where speculation turns to establish theoretical concepts. Loeb compares Atlas to what astronomers call a Bracewell probe, a hypothetical robotic AI scout that an advanced civilization might send to monitor emerging species like ours. This ties directly into a concept from astrophysics known as the Dark Forest Hypothesis. The theory suggests that advanced civilizations might stay quiet and hidden out of fear of other advanced life forms. If an alien intelligence detected Earth's growing technological prowess, our development of nuclear weapons, powerful radio signals, or rapidly advancing artificial intelligence, they might choose to investigate more closely. What makes this even more unsettling is the timing. According to Loeb's calculations, Atlas would have entered the outer reaches of our solar system approximately 8,000 years ago at its current speed. This timing eerily coincides with the dawn of human civilization. When we first began developing agriculture, writing, and complex societies. Here's where it gets really unsettling. According to orbital models, this thing could have entered our system during the time of Gobekli Tepe, right when humans were making their first real leap forward. So, what if they've been watching us grow? The object's size, about seven miles across, means it could potentially house extensive monitoring equipment, or even carry smaller probes designed to gather intelligence on our planets. Its hyperbolic trajectory ensures it won't be captured by the sun's gravity, allowing it to escape back to interstellar space after completing its mission. But if this is part of a plan, then the countdown might already be ticking. What if it hit us? While scientists have confirmed Atlas poses no direct threat to Earth, it will remain at least 170 million miles away at its closest approach. The sheer scale of this object forces us to confront a sobering reality. What if something like this did hit us? At approximately seven miles wide, Atlas is remarkably similar in size to the Chicxulub impactor, the asteroid that struck Earth 66 million years ago and wiped out the dinosaurs. An impact from an object this massive would trigger a planetary catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. The energy released would be equivalent to billions of nuclear weapons detonating simultaneously. Global firestorms, tsunami waves hundreds of feet high, and a dust cloud that would block the sun for years would follow. It would trigger a mass extinction event that would fundamentally reshape life on Earth. Though Atlas isn't on a collision course, its presence delivers a profound psychological impact. It's a cosmic wake-up call that such massive objects can and do enter our solar system, sometimes with little warning. This is only the third interstellar object we've ever detected. How many others have passed through unnoticed throughout Earth's history? Many of you asked in the comments of our previous videos, would we even know how to stop it if it were headed our way? The shocking answer is, we probably couldn't. AI decoding behavior. As Atlas continues its journey toward our inner solar system, scientists are employing increasingly sophisticated tools to analyze its behavior. One fascinating approach involves using artificial intelligence systems to identify potentially unnatural patterns in the object's motion. Natural objects follow the predictable laws of physics responding to gravitational forces in ways we can model with high precision. But what if Atlas displays movements that defy these predictions? What if it's navigating gravitational assists with a level of precision that seems too perfect for random chance? Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. 
If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. This is where the cutting edge of astronomical detection comes in. Even subtle deviations from a purely gravitational trajectory could indicate some form of propulsion or control. With Oumuamua, scientists detected a small but unexplained acceleration away from the sun that couldn't be fully accounted for by normal cometary outgassing. Professor Loeb has proposed using the James Webb Space Telescope to monitor 3I-ATLAS for any signs of non-gravitational movement. JWST's incredible sensitivity could detect even minute accelerations or course corrections that would be invisible to other instruments. This kind of analysis isn't science fiction, it's standard procedure for detecting cometary activity. The difference is that we're now looking for patterns that might indicate something beyond natural processes. If this thing even twitches against physics, we'll know. And JWST is sensitive enough to see it. If it does, then it's game on. Any unexplained acceleration, particularly after the object emerges from behind the sun, would immediately trigger intense scrutiny from the scientific community. This is why the period in December 2025, when Atlas reappears from behind the sun, will be a critical window for observation. Why now? Who's watching? If we entertain for a moment the possibility that Atlas isn't just a natural object, a profound question emerges. Why now? Many viewers have suggested this timing might not be coincidental. Earth is currently experiencing an unprecedented explosion in artificial intelligence capability, continued nuclear proliferation, and accelerating climate change. These developments represent potential existential risks that might be visible to distant observers. This narrative echoes throughout UFO lore. One of the most striking examples comes from 1976, when Mexican student pilot Rafael Pacheco Perez's plane vanished from radar during a routine flight. When air traffic controllers re-established contact, they heard a bizarre monotone voice speaking through the pilot, claiming, We are using him. We are beings from this universe. Our planet is many light years away. The voice delivered an ominous warning. Humanity must change its warlike ways or face an irreversible global catastrophe. It specifically stated, You are not alone in the universe, and there are other races that we are keeping away from you, but we are watching you. While this incident lacks scientific verification, it represents a persistent theme in UFO encounters. The notion that advanced civilizations might monitor humanity's technological progress with concern. Could ATLAS be part of an interstellar monitoring or warning system? The dark forest hypothesis suggests that spacefaring civilizations might establish surveillance networks to detect emerging technological species. If Earth has recently crossed some threshold of technological development or environmental impact, it might trigger closer observation. The object's trajectory, passing close to multiple planets, would provide an efficient means of gathering data across our entire inner solar system in a single pass. Its massive size could potentially house sophisticated monitoring equipment or even smaller deployable probes. What's particularly intriguing is that if this hypothesis were true, we would expect to see more such objects as our technological capabilities continue to advance. The stakes of our development, particularly in areas like artificial intelligence and genetic engineering, increase exponentially with each breakthrough. If that's true, this might not be the last time we're visited. Despite the fascinating speculation, the overwhelming scientific consensus is much more mundane. Atlas is almost certainly a natural comet from another star system. Multiple telescopes, including the International Gemini Observatory, have already observed a faint coma surrounding ATLAS that nebulous cloud of gas and dust that typically envelopes a comet's nucleus as it warms up. This is a telltale sign of normal cometary activity. As Dr. Samantha Lawler from the University of Regina explains, as far as we can tell, all evidence points to this being an ordinary comet that was ejected from another solar system, just as countless billions of comets have been ejected from our own solar system. Astronomers expect that as Atlas approaches the sun, 
we'll see even more typical cometary behavior, including the development of a tail as more material sublimates off the nucleus. These are natural processes that don't require any exotic explanation. Critics of the alien hypothesis have been blunt in their assessment. Chris Lintott, an astronomer at Oxford University, called the suggestion that it's artificial nonsense on stilts and an insult to the exciting work going on to understand this object. The scientific community emphasizes that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And so far, no evidence of anything extraordinary has been found. No radio signals, no unnatural maneuvers, nothing that couldn't be explained by normal cometary physics. Even Professor Loeb himself acknowledges this reality, writing in a blog post. By far, the most likely outcome will be that Atlas is a completely natural interstellar object, probably a comet. Here's the thing, it probably is just a comet, but that doesn't mean we stop asking wild questions, because once in a while, one of them is right. The positive aspect of this debate is that it ensures ATLAS will be studied intensively. Hundreds of researchers are analyzing its trajectory, modeling its origin, and planning observations with ground and space telescopes. This object offers a rare opportunity to study material from another star system up close. Let's take a step back and look at what we know for certain about 3i slash ATLAS. This is an enormous object, seven miles across the size of a small city, moving at an extraordinary speed of over 130,000 miles per hour through our solar system. It follows a trajectory unlike anything we've seen before, approaching from a side-on angle that will take it past multiple planets in our inner solar system. Most critically, it will disappear behind the sun at precisely its closest approach in late October 2025, only to re-emerge weeks later on the other side, having completed the most active part of its journey completely hidden from Earth's view. Its path will bring it near Jupiter on the way in, then past Mars and Venus on the way out, an efficient tour of our planetary neighborhood. The scientific consensus remains that 3i slash ATLAS is almost certainly a natural comet from another star system. The evidence of cometary activity, the coma, the expected outgassing as it nears the sun, all point to a natural explanation. Yet, Professor Loeb's question lingers. What if it was sent here? What if the trajectory is too perfect, the timing too convenient? What if this massive interstellar visitor is something more than just a wandering comet? This isn't just idle speculation. It drives us to observe more carefully, to check for unexpected behaviors, to watch closely when 3i slash ATLAS re-emerges from behind the sun. The James Webb Space Telescope will be looking for any hint of non-gravitational acceleration that might suggest something beyond natural forces at work. Even if the alien hypothesis proves wrong, as it most likely will, this interstellar visitor teaches us something profound. We're studying pristine material from another star system, potentially billions of years old. This ancient messenger from the cosmos carries clues about how planetary systems form and evolve. Each interstellar object we discover helps place our solar system in context with others. Even if this is just space junk from another star, we're learning that the universe is not empty. It's filled with motion, and maybe with watchers. The story of 3i slash ATLAS reminds us that we stand on the threshold of discovery. Our improving detection capabilities mean we'll likely find more such objects in coming years. Each one will bring new mysteries, new questions, and perhaps new insights into our place in the cosmos. Want to follow what happens when it reappears in December? Subscribe. We'll be watching too. As 3i slash ATLAS continues its journey through our solar system, we'll be tracking its every move, analyzing the data from telescopes around the world, and bringing you the latest findings. Whether it turns out to be just an ordinary comet or something more extraordinary, this cosmic visitor has already expanded our understanding of what's out there among the stars.